Oh, alhamdulillah, salatu salam rasulullah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Riyadh Warzazi, we're coming to you into another episode of Rocky Ramadan 2012, day 11. Um, in Bukhari, the Prophet Muhammad you know, um, mentions the story of, um, of this man. In this battle, and at the end of the battle, the Muslims went back into their camps and then they were talking. Uh, so they, each of them were, you know, was talking about things that happened during the battle, and they were all praising one guy who seemed to be fighting so vigorously. Uh, but the Prophet he said to them, that man is in hellfire. Um, they were sort of astonished. You know, that guy he seemed to, just, you know, the night before he was really like, you know, uh, fighting so vigorously and and he was like brave he looked like he was brave and and very courageous man but the prophet says he's amongst the people of have fire the next day um uh, one of the uh, the soldiers decided to go and follow that man and then as this man was sort of again fighting and the guy behind him was just you know watching him he had some wounds and then he was going through so much pain that he took his sword and then he leaned against his sword. He put the sword and leaned against his sword and he killed himself. So the man came back to the Prophet and he told him, he says, Ya Rasulullah, ashhadu annaka Rasulullah. Oh Prophet, I bear witness that you are a Prophet of Allah. The Prophet says, why? How come? He says, the man that you said, he's amongst the people of fire. Indeed, I followed him and this is what he did. He committed a suicide. So here, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the the say the the other hadith which is in Bukhari, whereby the Prophet Muhammad Ali says, Deeds are judged uh, uh, according to the person's final uh, final deed. The deeds uh, are judged according to the person's final deed final deed yani the his 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 end how would his end be or how would your end be the deeds are judged by uh, a person's final deed or final ending which in fact brings the topic of sincerity how sincere you are in your deeds the Prophet Muhammad Ali used to say, Allahumma inni as'aluka husn al khatima. Oh Allah, I ask you to bless me with the good end. With a good end. There's another hadith which is also in Bukhari about a, a, a man as the Prophet Muhammad Ali sallam, he says he'll be doing the deeds of the people of, of Jannah, of heaven. And uh, until he is only one cubit between him and Jannah, and then he will do some deeds of the people of, of hellfire and he would end up in hellfire and likewise a man from the people of hellfire doing the bad deeds deeds of the people of hellfire until he's only one cubit between him and hellfire and then he will start doing deeds of the people of jannah and then he will be amongst the people of jannah again about you no know, the the khatima the good you know the end as the prophet used to say again allahumma oh allah bless me with a good end and this has a lot to do with your, with with your, with your, uh, you know, uh, sincerity in actions and deeds and sayings. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin." Say that my salah, my nusuk, my sacrifice, my life, my death, is all for Allah. Everything is for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. No name, no fame. I'm doing it sincerely, purely, you know, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two things, ladies and gentlemen, that will help you uh, get a good end. There are many things, but I'm going to pick two things here that will help us get a good end. Point number one. Sahib, Sadiq, Mukhlis. Befriend a sincere uh, person. A brother or a sister, and his sister befriending a sister who's sincere, a brother befriending a brother who's sincere, befriend someone who's sincere, my brothers and sisters. It will help you get a good end, inshallah ta'ala. Sadiq, Mukhlis, 
المرء على دين خليله فلينظر احدكم من يخالل a man would follow the footsteps of his close friends let each one of you meticulously choose their friends يوم يعض الظالم على يديه يقول يا ليتني اتخذت مع الرسول خليلا يا ويلتا ليتني لم اتخذ فلانا خليلا a man will bite his hand on the day of judgment and he will say oh i wish I followed the path of Rasulullah and then he, was, and then he would say I wish I did not follow so and so and he would mention the name of that person who deviated him so and so I wish I did not follow her I wish I did not follow him that person who misguided me there was a, a king it's a it's like a, maybe not true of a story but the the meaning of it there was a king who had many, you know, close friends to him, the people that, you know, surrounded him, and they were not really too sincere with him. They were just there because he is the king. So one day, um, he's, uh, the man who, uh, who makes his clothes wanted to teach him a lesson, so he brought him something. He says, oh, king, I'm working, you know, a very, very beautiful clothes for you. I'm making this, you know, I'm, I'm making this very beautiful garment for you. And if you were to wear that garment, you will see the people that really love you. You will see them, you know, you'll, you'll know them. They, 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 they'll appear, you know, they, you, will, you will be able to see them. The people who, who really are there, you know, who, or who, who love you, or like you because of your, or you. Not you, not being with you because you're the king or because they need things from you, but because who really care about you. So the next day the, 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 the tailor came and he brought nothing. He brought something from like air. He says, King, here it is, the garment. The king says, where, where is it? He says, here it is. You see, I can, you know, it's from air, but I made it. It took me, you know, months in the making. And if you just wear it, if you just wear it, you can see things. <laughs> the king believed him. He says, okay, you have to take off your clothes so that you can put this garment that can make you see things. So the king took off his clothes, became naked. <laughs> and then the man says, okay, come, let me you know, help you wear it. Wear it, Yalla. you know, right hand, left hand, and then here, let me close it. Now you're wearing this garment. He was just wearing air. He was wearing nothing. He says, here's the garment. Now look, look see and he's going around and people they're looking at him but he's the king he's naked and they can't tell him anything they're not sincere you know the people around him they can't say anything and the king is like walking and says you know uh, bragging look you know seeing things people love me they're smiling at him so he thinks that people like you know like him they love him people are looking at him and smiling they can't say anything he's the king until he passed by a kid little kid and that kid was like you know he's a kid you know, honest oh the king the naked king the naked king and then the king realized this little boy here is so honest he does not carry anything in his heart he's so honest he told me what was wrong with me he was sincere but you people were not sincere so here the thing in befriend a sincere friend who can point out your your mistakes with hikmah to you who care about you not because of what you have but because of what you are and the other thing that will also inshallah ta'ala help you uh, get a good end is ikhlas amalika lillah be sincere in your deeds for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be sincere, you know, in your deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The seven categories of people that we that will be will be put under the shade of Allah the day when there is no shade except the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amongst these seven categories is a man who stayed alone, khaliyan, dhakar Allah khaliyan for Father Ta'ina. He was so sincere invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, not only publicly, but also privately making dua alone, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much so that his eyes started, you know, shedding tears. He was sincere. He doesn't only cry on his around people or give sadaqah on his around people publicly. 
but also privately. He was honest. Ahl al-ilm, they said, the scholars, they said, for our deeds, in fact, to be accepted, for our amal, for our ibadah to be accepted, our worship to be accepted, it's got to meet two conditions. Al-ikhlas wal mutaba'a. Ikhlas and mutaba'a. Ikhlas, sincerity, for Allah, mutaba'a. Mutaba'a of the Prophet Muhammad following the acts and the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad these, you know, these are the two conditions for our amal to be accepted and our you know, worship to be accepted. So are you sincere? In fact, Ramadan will teach us how to be sincere. We don't go around telling people, I'm fasting, boasting and bragging, I'm fasting. Everybody is. So Ramadan, in fact, teaches us this quality of sincerity. How can I be sincere? How? Insha'Allah Ta'ala, maybe in the next episode or so, we will talk a little more about sincerity. Until tomorrow for another episode of Rocky Ramadan 2012, I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.